Hey everyone, this is Mike from MikeBed96.com. Today we'll be talking about a workaround in order to prevent iOS devices from disconnecting the Wi-Fi while in sleep mode. Uh, this is a so-called feature that Apple added um, to save on battery life when you put your uh, device to sleep. However, a lot of people have found it to be a slight annoyance uh, because they can no longer receive push notifications while their device is asleep. Uh, in order to receive those notifications, they would be required uh, to turn the device back on and unlock it uh, and wait for the Wi-Fi to connect again. So uh, there are some workarounds possible to, uh, to prevent the Wi-Fi from disconnecting when your device is in sleep mode. Uh, unfortunately, Apple has not built anything into the settings to prevent it. Uh, maybe in a future update they will include that because not many people have received this so-called feature uh, very well. Uh, however, there are a couple workarounds, and uh, one of them we're going to talk about today is using a VPN network. Now, when your device is connected to a VPN network, it will uh, stay connected to Wi-Fi even when it is in sleep mode. Uh, the VPN network can be set up not only on an iPhone, but also on an iPod Touch or an iPad. Uh, so it doesn't matter what kind of device you have or if you have a data plan. Uh, you can still use the VPN network to keep your device from uh, disconnecting Wi-Fi when in sleep mode. Uh, now the app we're going to be using today is called Onavo, uh, Onavo Extend, uh, and while it is designed for iPhones on AT&T or Verizon, uh, you can use it, you can download this app on any device, however it will not be functional on um, other devices other than an AT&T or Verizon iPhone. However, uh, for the sole purpose of getting a VPN network so that your Wi-Fi does not connect, this application will work just fine on any device. So uh, search for the Onavo Extend application uh, in the App Store. There will also be a link in the description to, to download it. Uh, and then after you download that, go ahead and install. Wait for that to download and install. And uh, if you're not familiar with uh, VPN networks, VPN stands for Virtual Private Network. And it's basically a way uh, to reroute your data before it goes through the mainframe server. Um, it's designed for uh, small businesses and firms, uh, organizations to, to be able to share data privately and securely. Uh, and for our purposes, uh, this will work just fine for keeping the Wi-Fi connected uh, when in sleep mode. Uh, this application uh, will be uh, completely secure, so you don't need to worry about the security of your data. So we're going to launch the application. So when you open the application, it'll uh, show a guided uh, setup. Uh, so for now, we're just going to skip this setup. Um, unless you really want to use this application for its intentional purpose, uh, the purpose of the app is to save on your data plan. If you want to do that, you can go ahead and uh, register your device. Uh, but for our purposes, you can skip the registration. Just go uh, and continue through this process. And like I said, it doesn't matter uh, what device you have, you know, everything that this app is saying right now really doesn't matter right now because we're only using it for the sole purpose of getting the VPN network. So uh, in order to get the VPN network set up, we're going to click continue to install profile. It'll take it to, to this screen here. Select install, install now, and then done. It will uh, bring you back to the application. Okay, and uh, at this point, um, you can see in the status bar that it says uh, we are now using a VPN. So the VPN network um, turned on automatically and our data is now being routed to that VPN network. Now the reason I wanted to use um, Onavo versus other VPN servers uh, is because Onavo is the most secure in terms of um, it's really not routing your data anywhere right now because Onavo's purpose is to save on your data plan but when you're connected to Wi-Fi it has no reason to reroute your data so as you can see on the screen right here currently on Wi-Fi service paused so uh, it initially routes to the VPN server but then it says oh wait the service is paused and then it'll uh, continue to go through the mainframe. So in that sense it's more secure than other VPN servers and it'll keep your uh, internet running nice and fast. Um, so now we have the VPN server set up. It's really a dummy VPN server since it's not really doing anything 
The sole purpose of the VPN server is so that we can lock the device and while it's locked, uh, it can stay connected to Wi-Fi so that we can receive push notifications uh, instead of at the uh, default where it would, when we lock it, Wi-Fi would disconnect and we wouldn't be able to receive any push notifications. So that is uh, the workaround for Apple's little feature there. Again, feature in quotations. Uh, hopefully in a future update, Apple will add a setting um, to allow you to uh, not allow the Wi-Fi to disconnect while you are in sleep mode. Uh, now, if at any time you wanted to uh, get rid of this VPN network, uh, you can turn the VPN off. Uh, just go to Settings, General, VPN, whoops, and then you can switch that to off. Now, for some reason on my device, uh, I'm assuming other devices are like this too, this VPN toggle here, uh, if I switch it off, it'll just turn itself back on right away. So um, I found uh, this VPN toggle uh, to be more effective. Um, but if you wanted to completely remove it, you could go back to the Onavo application, go to settings, and then under service status, you could turn it off, select yes, and it's going to bring you back to the profile. Uh, now you don't want to install the profile, so we're going to go back to, to settings and select the profile and then remove. And if you don't know how to get to this screen, starting from the main screen, if we go to general, scroll down, there's profile, and then remove. Remove. After it removes, your VPN will go back to not configured, it'll turn off and everything will be back to normal. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to check out my blog, uh, mikebed96.com, uh, link in the description. Please comment on if this solution helped you. Please share this video with your friends and family to help them out too. They may uh, be experiencing some frustration with this uh, small little inclusion in iOS 6. Make sure you thumbs up the video if you found it helpful. I'll see you guys next time.